is a CPA and a chartered market technician. Mr. Sai is the market consultant at First Metro Securities and an investment strategist and portfolio consultant at Rhyme Reason Investment Research and Management. He is a former economist at the Banco Central ng Pilipinas, a former research analyst at First Metro Sec, and a former auditor at Smart. With the topic, is this time different? Then please give a round of virtual applause for Mr. Aaron Sai. Hi, good afternoon po. No, thank you, Danny. No, so una, uh, I'd like to thank you no, for joining us once again in Traders Playbook. No, I'm sure uh, what Dr. Dumlao and Royce have shared provided a lot of insights no, to know where we are now in the economy and in the market, of course. No? And I hope you could uh, they could help you no, navigate the market better. Lalo na ngayon, medyo magulo. Uh, although there are definitely uh, opportunities no, amidst all this disturbances happening, no, especially recently. Uh, Dr. Dumlao provides us a really helpful perspective of the economy, uh, while Royce presented a lot of opportunity no, for us, especially if we look at the fundamentals of the companies, in particular, yung mga stock picks of First Metrosec. No? I hope you took, note, uh, you took note of those companies as fundamentally, I believe, no, they, are really, uh, they really stand to benefit no, to the reopening of the economy. So for my part, I'd like to share my thoughts no, from the technical perspective, no? so, as I have been doing uh, uh, since the Traders Playbook uh, started back in 2019, I'd like to share with you what we see uh, viewing the market in the lens of the Elliott Wave principle. No? And hopefully, we can generate some strategy from them. No? So for in this afternoon, my main question is, is this time different? Yeah, no? So if you attended 2021 Traders Playbook, ang tanong natin that time, will history repeat itself? No? Because at that time, uh, we what, what we thought we saw was that the market was behaving very similarly no? with how it moved in 1999. No? But... And then, uh, but in, oh wait, uh, but in, I, I think, no, I think that was January, no? Uh, January uh, 2022, no? no? January 2022, medyo na bago, no? Medyo na bago. The PSAI closed above the 50-month moving average, no? That we have been monitoring. When we saw that, it was a good sign, no? Although we tempered our optimism because we also know that in June 1999, the PSEI also closed. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The PSEI. Ayan. Ah, okay na. Ayan. Okay. When we saw that, yun nga, maganda, no? Maganda siya. Kaya lang, we, we had to temper our, our expectation at that time because we also know that in June 1999, uh, the PSEI also closed above the 50 month moving average and then opened July 1999 higher. But then reverse down, no, and then proceeded to make a lower low, no. Kaya that time, no, ang wish is I hope this time is different. <laughs> yung nung after nung June, ano uh, January 2029, ay 2022, no. Kaya ang tanong ngayon, ba? Kaya ang is it, no? Is is it is this really time different, no? Mukha bang hindi na magrepeat ng history, no? And that being said. Mukha bang tuloy na no, sa pag-akyat ng PSEI. No? So, or is this a case Sir John Templeton has warned us about years ago? No? That's the question we hope to offer some light on and of course formulate some strategies from. No? So moving on, to answer that question, siguro malaman natin no, what makes them the same or similar. No? Kasi kung similar talaga sila and history repeat itself, then we can anticipate mauntog ulit yung, mga, yung market sa mga resistance levels na nakita natin or actually pwedeng nauntog na. Tapos similar with what it did in 1999, baba ulit, possibly making a lower low. no? And siguro maganda din if we know what has happened so far that makes us entertain the idea that no, no, hindi na sila parehas, no? And this time can really be different, no? Na hindi na babagsak ulit ito, no? Tutuloy na ito pataas, di ba? No? So, let's first take a look at what makes us think what's happening recently is similar, no, to what happened in 1999. So, this is the chart of the PSEI in 1999 and in 2022, no? So, we thought that the price action in the encircled portion no, of the chart can be said to be somehow similar based on three factors. Ito din yung nakita and na-share natin back in Traders Playbook last year. No? So first, they both met resistance no, around the 50-month moving average. Okay? Next, it seems that the market is respecting the previous support, got broken, 
and now serving as a resistance. In technical analysis, ang tawag namin dyan is role reversal. No? And lastly, the market is somehow finding it difficult to go past the area of the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement of their previous drops. So stacking them up, here's the market respecting the 61.8% Fib retracement, then here's the role reversal, and putting them all together, no, here's the 50-month MA. No? These factors, these resistance levels that we see in the PSEI today, we saw them also in 1999. No? And if history repeats itself, then maybe what happened in 1999 might happen again moving forward. So pwede natin gamitin yun no, as our guide. Ang tanong ngayon, anong implications nitong mga similarities na to that we have identified no, between 1999 and the market recently? No? So of course, sa atin as traders, we are interested to know what, uh, where the price would go. No? And for my part, I try to know this using the Elliott Wave principle, no? which is the same thing that we used in 2019 no, to identify where we are in the cycle or waves, no? And to know where the market can possibly go. So, and using the elite wave and following through dun sa uh, past studies natin, no? Our base case is actually that we are already, no? In an up-moving cycle five. Ay, no? Natapos na yung wave four drop natin when we reached the 4,039 back in March 2020. And the wave five target is around 9,590. Uh, or around 9.6, no? So how did we get that 9.590 target? Uh, we used one of the prescriptions no, of Elliott Wave. Sabi niya, the size daw, no, the laki daw ng move ng Wave 5 can be as big as 61.8% of the move from the origin. In PSEI's case, that is around 95 index points, the lowest data that I have, up to the end of Wave 3, which was 9,078, no? yung high ng 2018 projected from the end of wave 4 which in this base case happened when the market reached 4039 in March 2020 no? so ang tanong naman ngayon bakit no why the fib why uh, why use no the 61.8 fib extension again this is just one of the ways to identify the possible end of wave 5 ah. so meron pang iba no so just an, as an example when we apply the same process in BTC USDT the estimated target for the end of wave 4 for BTC USDT was in the range of 28,850, which is the termination of wave 4 in a lower degree to around 30,000. No? Wave 4 made a low at 28,805, and when we saw that, we overlaid our FIB extension tool to see where wave 5 would end. If wave 5 would be 61.8%, of the run from the beginning of wave 1 to the end of wave 3 which was the April 2021 high around 57,600 no so projecting that from 28805 we got a target for wave 5 around 67143 and and BTC peaked at 69,000 with highest daily close at around 67525 no and and then it's five wave structure so based on that example among the many no we thought baka ganun din ang gawin ng PSEI no maraming pwedeng gawin ng PSEI ha we can't really know what it would do moving forward no what we are trying to do here is just building some scenarios no based on the application of our method which is the Elliott wave so going back now going back to the PSEI Again, the base case is that we're done. Now, we're done with wave 4. Tapos na correction, wave 4. And we have been in wave 5 since 2020. The target is 9590 or around 96, no? But as the market progressed, yan, pag tinignan natin, no, if we look at the form of the rally, no, from 4039 low back in March 2020, parang hindi siya mukhang impulsive no as what the Elliott wave principle suggests no pag impulsive kasi uh, in the direction of the market no the, or in the direction that the market would want to go in this case pataas no malakas at malaki yung pagakyat niya yung pagbalik ng pressure what we call retracements are shallow no and the up move are with conviction which if we look at the this move here no parang parang hindi no next the resistance areas that we discussed kanina no the 50 month MA the role reversal and the 61.8% Fibonacci mukhang in effect sila no and still providing some resistance sa pagakyat ng PSEI actually up to recently no and that makes that makes us think no that if history repeats itself and if history repeats itself it is possible that the drop from 9078 to 4039 was just the first leg okay was just the first leg of a tawag sa Elliott wave double combo corrective wave no in which case 
yung rally from 4039 to the recent high was just a tawag sa Elliot is a connector no then may and then may isa pang final wave pa ba no to finish the cycle wave 4 yan so if that's the case If history repeats itself at bumaba ulit ang market, ang tanong naman ngayon, hanggang saan yun bababa? Di ba? No? Yan ang gusto nating malaman. So, one option is making that last leg, okay, that last leg, the same size or 100% of the first drop. No? Which tells us that the market can go to 2512. Okay, no? So, then we, if we adjust the end of wave 4, then adjust the feed extension, then adjust the wave 5 target, That points us to wave five target of around 8,064. Yeah, no. Okay. However, yeah, based on Elliott wave, the end of wave four, this one should not be below the end of wave one. Which in this case, the end of wave one was three four four seven. No, so wave four at two five one two violates this rule. So we have to adjust. Okay. So if we adjust the end of wave four, don't sa sagad na no a retest of the end of wave one around 3447, then we adjust the FIB extension and adjust again the target for wave five. Then we have our first scenario, now, which is wave five ending around 8999 or 9000. I know. The second scenario is if the drop from where we are now ends around the area where it would make the final drop equivalent to around 61.8% of the drop, Bit from 9,078 high to 4,039 low, and adjusting again, not the feed extension and the wave five target, it points to the possibility of the PSEI ending wave five around 9,989 or around 10,000 index points. Now, yeah, the third and last scenario that we are looking at is if the PSEI revisits its March 2020 low at 4,039. And make a what we call a double bottom pattern. Okay, same thing. Adjusting again the fib extension and the wave five target. Then we get our base case target, which is nine thousand five hundred ninety or around nine thousand six hundred. No, so there you have it. No, so key takeaways in case nineteen ninety nine and twenty twenty one twenty twenty two are similar. So as we saw, no, the chart of the PSEI is showing na medyo magkamuka, no. C1999 and 2021, 2022. If they are the same or similar, and if history repeats itself, then the up move we saw from March 2020 bottom up to recently is possibly similar with what happened when the market bounced from 98 to 99. Aha, no. And after that, if history repeats itself, kung malakas talaga yung mga resistance areas na nakita natin, then we might be in for an exciting, well, not, not 2021 anymore, no? 2022 na, no? Ito din kasi yung takeaway slides ko last year, no? It just so happened that the market just basically moved sideways, no? For the whole year last year. Kaya chart-wise, at least in the context of those indicators and tools we presented here and then pa din tayo no sa crossroad na yon so in summary okay in summary if 1999 and 2021 are similar and if 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 and only if history repeats itself then the base case the market could possibly still drop to 4039 first make a double bottom to finish off wave 4 Then proceed to make wave five with a target around nine five ninety or nine six. Right? If the market drops less, let's say around four four three eight, no, which makes the third leg of the correction equal to around sixty one point eight fib of the first leg of wave four. Then the target for wave five is higher at around nine nine eight nine, around ten thousand, no, for the PSEI. So this is our bull case. Okay, but if the market decides no, that it wants to retest the three four four seven high it made back in January nineteen ninety seven, medyo malalim yon, no. But then again, if we can look beyond it, no, the estimated target for the next wave is wave five, no, which is wave five. It's still around 9,000. No, so yeah, no. You might want to take a screenshot of this slide. No, so I'll give you five seconds, ah. And five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. So in picture, ito sila. No, if history repeats itself, drop mo na from where we are. May rocket ulit, no, to make the fifth and last wave. Okay, fifth and last wave for the PSEI. Okay, so screenshot ulit. Five seconds. And five, four. 
3, 2, 1. Yan. So, ang tanong naman ngayon, no, we discussed kanina what makes them same or similar, no? Which makes it possible, though, that history would repeat itself. Then we presented the possible moves along with the possible targets, no? Ang tanong ngayon, ano naman yung mga posibleng pwede magsabi na, hindi, iba na to, no? Yung pwede natin masabi na this time is different, no? Well, if we look at the first instance, Yan. If we look at the first instance that the market hit resistance in 1999, tapos bumaba, when it recovered, it made lower high. No? Tapos bumaba and proceeded to make lower lows. Okay, yan yung 1999. Whereas, if we look at what happened last year, no? when the market first hit those three resistance levels, yung MA, yung roll reversal, and yung FIB resistance, no? the market dropped, tapos bumalik pa akyat, and even made a higher high. Diba, no? So, medyo may pagkakaiba naman. The thing is, even if the PSEI made higher high, no? kasi the recent high was around 7.552, no? which is higher than the 7.432 high in January 2021. Kaya lang 7.552 is just less than 2% higher no? than 7.432, tapos bumalik pa. No? And we know that the resistance is really an area and not really a specific level. So, may konti pang uncertainty as to whether we can consider 7552 high as a higher high you know, coming from a valid breakout. No? That said, we think the market can still go both ways. No? And as mentioned kanina, if the market proceeds by repeating itself, no, by history repeating itself, bababa muna siya from where we are now before recovering and form its fifth wave. No? But, okay, but if this time is different, no? If we can hurdle, or if the market can hurdle the resistance level it has been um, um, battling with, no, for the past year, no. If this time is, is different, which a break above seven five five two can tell us, then we can start to anticipate the market progressing towards our wave five targets, no. As it validates, no, the move above seven five five two validates and confirms, no that the PSEI is really in a f in wave 5 already. Okay? So now, of course, before we end, no, we need to know, paano ba natin pwede itry, itrade, no? itrade itong market? No? Uh, well, based on what we presented, if history repeat itself, baba pa tayo from here. And our actions should be meant to position our portfolio for the ne next wave up, no? which is wave 5. No? So, kung bumagsak yung market, then that give us, gives us an opportunity to buy and accumulate at lower levels. Ang tanong, anong bibilin? No? Kung ako, I'd prioritize din yung mga pinresent ni Royce kanina, no? which are carefully studied by the research team of First Metrosec. Kasi uh, business-wise, pag tinignan nyo sila, sila talaga yung ano, eh, beneficiaries ng reopening. No? And market-wise, most of them, not all, no? most of them are what we call the high beta stocks. No? So pag umakit yung market after it drop, kung magda-drop man, no? proportionately mas malaki ang gains nila no compared to others no try to buy them pwede in tranches no around the support areas that we identified kanina no but if this time is different no hindi na bababa akyat na no same pa din wala na nga lang tayong opportunity to pick up stocks at lower prices pero that should not stop you no to capture the gains from the wave 5 of PSEI no so buy when the PSEI breaks above 7552 recent high then look to trim or sell some of your positions pag lumalapit na no sa identified possible resistance levels natin kanina so but definitely no definitely this remains constant uh, remains con constant no whichever you choose don't forget to manage your risk now, I know, especially in view of the macro risk that we are facing, no? Uh, know when you are wrong, then try to minimize losses kung bumagsak ang market, and make sure to participate naman if in case tumuloy yung umakyat yung market. So, yeah, no? So, in addition lang, in addition, uh, pwede din, no? In case history repeat itself, bumagsak ka from here, pwede din hanap ka ng mga stocks na umakyat even if the general market is in a downtrend. Okay? So, which is what we saw no, in mining and oil stocks recently. So, one uh, one last look, no, one last look at the scenarios. Yeah, no, screenshot ulit. And five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Okay? So, with that, thank you very much for listening. <laughs> Keep safe, man. I hope you learned something useful today. Thank you.
Thank you, Aaron. That was a very, very insightful presentation. Uh, you know, my big question is, when will this happen? <laughs> I saw it 2027, ba? 2030, ba? Okay, so 9,590 will run. So again, fundamentals, if you're looking to keep your money in long-term investments, of course, you look for the dips uh, and, and wait for that to, to come to fruition. So thank you so much. And I'm sure everyone has a lot of questions for you. Again, guests and viewers, do not hesitate to type in those questions in the chat box. We will be picking a few, few questions for you guys during the panel discussion later on.